Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, blogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, vlogs such as 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, Audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podomatic, Spotify, Mixcloud and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and our official website www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat The pitch is where we sleep And the pitch is where we talk Welcome to The Straight Shooting View Hey, what's up people? My name is Straight Shooting LJA and welcome to another episode of The Straight Shooting View. Now, you know what? Javier Tebas, who is the president of La Liga and also an open, out loud and proud Real Madrid supporter, has come out shooting his mouth off again, again. Now, if you want my view on Javier Tebas, I'd like to point you to this vlog of mine A straight shooting view vlog from about three years ago. Have a quick listen. To quote HBK Shawn Michaels from November of 1998, it's a case of if I want to crap out of you, I'd pick it out of your teeth. Javier Tabas, just like to say, you criticise Manchester City and also um Paris Saint Germain about financial doping, but you might want to look at the crap on your own doorstep before you start throwing out borderline slander about certain other teams. Because it's a case of I know you've admitted you're a Real Madrid fan. Number one, that's your first mistake. Number two, you're chief of La Liga. It's a it's one of them ones where it's a look at your own league in terms of financial doping and cheating and that kind of thing, you might want to sort out that first before trying to swipe at others. It's like, don't, don't, what's that old saying? Don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. And you definitely live in a glass house because look at the way the TV money is divided up in La Liga. Heavily, heavily, to say the very least, leveraged in favour of Real Madrid and Barcelona. If you want to talk about financial doping, let's talk about that. Yeah, so Javier Tebas, I'm not the greatest fan of him, but he's once again talking about financial doping. Now, he's talking again, just like in that clip you just saw of mine from three years ago, he's talking about Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain. Nothing said about his club, Real Madrid. Nothing to go against Florentino Perez, but wouldn't expect him to anyway, even though he does run La Liga. Anyway, leaving that aside, here's one of them ones. The thing that frustrates me the most about Javier Tebas, apart from him being a, being a Real Madrid supporter and running La Liga, is the fact that what he says is actually right. It would be financial doping if free agent now Lionel Messi signed for either Man City or PSG because they wouldn't be doing it with their own money. They are owned, they are basically state owned by a couple of shakes. So it's one of them where they would, they, they're not spending their own money. They're not spending what they earn. So, and remember both sides have actually been pulled up twice by UEFA in regards to financial fair play breaches. But um, yeah, those cases both seem to have um, disappeared for lack of a better term, where both sides have gotten off scot-free both times. So, for me, it's one of them ones where it's like, what Javier Tebas says is actually right, but he's not the guy to be saying it. Again, just like I said three years ago, when Javier Tebas first came out and talked about PSG and Man City financially doping, because they're not spending money they own, (coughs) sorry, they're not spending money they've earned, they're spending their owners' money, and their owners are absurdly rich. So it's creating an unlevel playing field. But the kings of that were Real Madrid. So it's like, so for Tebas to come out and say what he's saying, it's like, well, no, bro. You are living in a glass house. Don't start throwing stones again. 
So, I mean, Lionel Messi, if he does leave Barcelona, and that's a big if, I want to refer you to, a, to my personal vlog, The Straight Shooting Rants, about my thoughts on Lionel Messi and whether or not he's going to leave Barcelona. Have a look at this. He's only been at literally one other club, Mill's Old Boys. So he's been at Barca so long, he's part of the furniture. And Barcelona, after that 8-2 mauling that they got against Bayern Munich, which was hilarious in and of itself, you could see it was the end of an era. For me, he may as well stay at Barcelona, maybe another couple of, maybe another couple of years, and then, say, go to China for a big payday or MLS for a big payday. Because you know he'd make a big payday. And he might as well do that. And because I said, any club he goes to now, he's 33. And you can't, you can't beat father time. So it's going to be very interesting to see if he leaves. I don't think he should personally because it's pointless at 33 to start moving on clubs after you've been at one club so long. It's a bit pointless. So... Lionel Messi, I can't see him, even now that he's out of contract, I think he'll come to terms with Barcelona or he'll end up in the MLS. <clears throat> there is the potential of China, but uh, with COVID still hanging around, not sure he'll risk going to China. So, I mean, I mean the, the last option would be him potentially going back to New Orleans old boys. But I can't see him doing that yet. To me, he's not old enough to be going back to the club that he began his career in. And he's still got a few years left <clears throat> at the top level in Europe. So I don't think he'll be going back to Newell's old boys yet. If he was 39, 38, then I'd be like, yeah, he'll probably go back. But I think he's only like 34. So I doubt he's going to go back to Newell's old boys. So for me, I think... If he does leave, just like I said last year, if he does leave, it'll be one big final contract and that'll be it for Lionel Messi. He'll hang it, he'll hang it up. He'll do, he'll do like Ronaldinho, go back to his home country and be good. But you know what? I've, I think one thing that may swing him or tilt him to staying at Barcelona is the fact that Sergio Aguero has just gone to Barcelona. I don't think he's registered yet because of Barcelona's financial problems, which are proving to be a stumbling block for Barcelona because they're in a few hundred million worth of debt. <clears throat> so, yeah, again, with the financial doping stuff. But anyway, I see Messi staying at Barcelona, but Javier Tebas really needs to shut the fuck up about financial doping. He really does because... It's just him talking out of both sides of his neck, in my view. And if he really wanted to go after financial doping, then he needs to go after the club that he supports first. First and foremost, talk smack about them. Man City and PSG, yes, they are doing it, but they're only following the example and the benchmark that Real Madrid have laid down for the past 30, 40, 50 years. I want to know your views. Comment section is below. Let me know your views. Javier Tabas, another politician, <laughs> in a different way, being president of La Liga, but trying to score points by burying, at least verbally, PSG and Man City. Do you think what he's saying is actually right, but he's the wrong person to say it? Come on, them ones. I'd like to know. I have been straight shooting LJA. And remember, www.pitch-talk.com is the official website. Catch everything Pitch Talk there, including our vlogs and videos page, our blogs page as well. The G-Man has updated that. Also, also check out our podcast page. If you want to hear our podcast, we are on Amazon Music. We are on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. We're on Player FM, Podomatic, Podbean. We are on Verbal and proud to be Verbal Ambassadors. Also, we're in so many places, Amazon Music too. So we're in a lot of places, but if you want to listen to it in one place, go to our website, www.pitch-talk.com to catch the RSS feed there. Subscribe, like, give us a rating, give us a comment. Let us know your views on those platforms. 
The more we grow, the more we can bring to you. Also, youtube.com forward slash pitch talk for all of our videos, including our pitch talk special feature segments as well, and much, much more. Our vlogs are up there coaching with JBK, the straight shooting view, and five minutes with the G, and a lot more on YouTube. Also, twitter.com forward slash pitch talk or at pitch talk on Twitter. Tweet with us, follow us, see what we are up to. Facebook.com forward slash pitch talk, become a fan, become a friend, become a member of the group, join the football and revolution. We are working so hard to create eight and at pitch talk on instagram as well catch previews of our vlogs pictures and much more up there as well i have been straight shooting lja and i want to know your views comment section is below thanks for your time peeps see you next time join the pitch talk revolution check out the official pitch talk website www.pitch-talk.com